Ooh, what a relief it is. We're back. Indeed, you I missed gotta... us. We're back. Okay. Uh... Oh, Darren's not back. Darren, Darren is unprepared. Uh, I am because you just started so, the episode. Smash that dislike button, okay? Yeah, you dislike. Gotta. Boom. All uh, right, here we go. Continuing the adventure. Hmm. Okay, Nick. This looks like a good spot. Good spot for what? Time to do some fishing. She's serious. Um, what are we gonna use for bait? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I figured something like this would happen. We should have brought missile along with us too. At least then we'd have bait. <laughs> Dick! How could you? I'm kidding! I'm kidding! <laughs> Some jokes are better left untold! Ugh, she hit me. Okay, watch this, Dick. Just try not to reel in any empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go. Dick! My leg! Hey! What are you doing? Uh, sorry, Lotta. Don't tell me you are on some film company's play role. Nick, pay her. My poor, poor wallet. I go back to the detention center. I did not. The criminal affairs department. That was it? Yeah, that was it. It was not the fishing pole. Wait, for real? Yeah. Oh my god. So there is a right answer. Well, you get a good scene. So I want you to pick the wrong answer. Let's hit the next one. You want the wrong answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? Hmm? Yeah, sure, pal. Uh, but I have to take back the last one I lent you. Apartment policy. Well, take your pick. Which will it be? So it's missile or the metal detector. You want me to pick the wrong answer? Yeah. Probably the metal detector, right? No, it's missile. Okay, all right, damn, I suck. Can we borrow missile? What you think, pal? Be good to him. He's so cute! Oh boy. Missile, missile a K9, K9 unit, unit in training. training. Very cute, with shiny eyes! Uh, do me a favor and put on your headphones for the next segment. <laughs> And then go to the uh, the beach. Oh, you God. complete idiot! Oh, fuck me! You hit it again! Whoa, what? Okay. Missile. <laughs> All right. I uh, go to the the beach. Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Uh oh, all right. That little creature of the detectives. He's an asshole. Hey! I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> What's wrong, Missile? Missile! Missile! Whoa! Stop that thing! Cannibal! It's eating my semi dogs! My semi dogs! <laughs> well, eat every single one. I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry! Sorry doesn't pay my bills, Nick! Uh, uh, it's gonna have to this time. Alright, I'll go ahead and go back to the uh, criminal fence department. Zach Zumchu, can we borrow one of the other things? I literally 
I literally said, eh, it's definitely not the metal detector. <laughs> yeah. Who borrowed that metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're gonna find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Metal detector makes a noise, a noise when, when metallic objects are near. A useful detection device. All right, go to the uh, the boat mental shop. But you haven't been there yet. You go to the beach, and then you can go to the oh, new mental place, shop. Huh? Yeah. The boat rental shop. Right. It's always so quiet here. One of the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation till it blows over. I get it. Nick! It's beeping! The metal detective found something! Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Well, check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? I'm doing it anyway. Nick? Look! Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Why would Gordy be in the bushes? I don't understand. What is the metal detector going to do? Nothing. It's the last thing you expect that works. Well, why would it, why would you think it was Gordy in the bushes with a metal detector? He's a he's a monster. Uh, do me a favor, press A. Maya. First of all, <laughs> why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all. Why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh! Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Oh, well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Air, air tank! tank! An, an empty air, air tank! The valve is open! And an a pair of flags are wrapped around it! Uh, go ahead and go to, um, um, shut the fuck up. I know what I'm doing. Wait. Ah, uh, go to the woods. Wait. Yeah, go to the woods. <laughs> and talk to Lana. Never mind, shut up. <laughs> I was wrong. I sp spray me, spray me, spray me. I was wrong. I was okay. I was okay. wrong. I was wrong. Right. I was wrong. Right. Do it! What do you least <laughs> expect it? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go talk to Larry. And show him something. Son of a bitch. Show him something. Larry, how about you explain this shit? What the what the fuck? <laughs> what? An air tank? <laughs> what about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Have you seen this before? Huh? Me? <laughs> no, n never. Who the heck would go diving in the middle of the winter? Something about the way his eye twitched when I showed him the tank. I think I'd better pursue this line of questioning a little further. Okay, now you can talk to him about something else. Wait, what? How did that happen? Oh, okay, you gotta present it and choose the other option. I think you should, yeah, you chose the wrong option. Whoa, whoa! It was the first one there! Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to go against it and pick the second one? Yeah, it is, they're not talking points. It's just you answering the question like you would in the courtroom. Larry, I want to ask you about this tank. Say, is this air tank yours? <laughs> Why would I ever say like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? 
just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. <laughs> that must be a coincidence. There's some string of flags everywhere these days. Like elementary schools. And used car deal dealerships. Look, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. <laughs> Why would you go ask me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right. Right. Actually, um, see, the compressor I always used was on the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it. Just once. And, uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? C come on! Look, it's a person, so I don't really want to talk about it. Tell us! Tell us! Fine! Whatever. It's, like I said, the combustor was busted. The compressor. Not the combustor. Buster. <laughs> <laughs> so I took the tank and tried to fill a little samurai up with that. And then... The valve busted open and made this incredible noise! And that tank there took off like a rocket! And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it! What? Off into Gord Lake? It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. I can talk about something else. Um... So the tank of the steel samurai you were trying to fill... ...up flew away. Now, what happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th? A week ago? Well, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. I went out every night on, in the boat looking for it. I mean, Kiyotse gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? It's just the night before last. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last? It's the night of the murder! Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, that was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I, I I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. You've solved one mystery, at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. All right, now I'll go talk to Lotto. What the hell? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just went backwards. Come on. Ah! <laughs> well, Mr. Liar. I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? <laughs> just, just Gordy doesn't. I don't. Yeah. I mean, did we prove Gordy doesn't exist by getting all that? Uh, did we like find him? No. But we also didn't really look. You know what I mean? We like did. we did. We investigated. We have all the answers right now. Because about the mystery behind Gordy. Okay. Lotta. There is no such thing as Gordy. What? How can y'all be so sure? Philly Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy don't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist? Do you have it or not? 
proof? No. I mean, we don't have proof. We don't. I mean, we don't really have proof. Okay, because this all dates back to the story, correct? No, I don't understand. I really don't understand how anything that we gathered gave, gave us proof Gordy doesn't exist. We went, we looked in the bushes, found a tank. That doesn't prove Gordy doesn't exist. No, not that part. No. And then freaking Larry was out in the lake for four days and didn't see him. That doesn't really, this still doesn't prove Gordy doesn't exist. It makes it more likely that he doesn't exist because he didn't see him. I mean, go ahead and show the evidence. No, no, you gotta hit, hit, hit is here. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. What is the proof? Um, what the fuck? Okay, so Larry's story is that he was pumping it with an yeah, air canister, and it blew up, and it blew up, and it flew into the lake. Right, and then he spent four days uh, trying to look for it, and he was there on the, uh, and he found it on the night of the motive, and then he brought it back, and then now he has it up again. Right, the sound would have snapped a picture, right? Surely, right? Yeah, probably. So that's Larry's inflatable crashing into the water. Possibly. Doesn't look like it, but I guess it makes sense. I gotta present this again. No, 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 no. no. Okay, your line of logic is right. You gotta present the air canister because it, it's associated with the okay. the balloon. Larry's air tank. What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Uh, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Dick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used this air tank and then the valve blew. The tank blew into the lake. Apparently made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang. The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. So, you seen that Gordy? It's really the Steel Samurai? <laughs> Fool. Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info like I promised. <laughs> Poor Lotta. So, tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. Belt Fintel? Is someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living on by himself. I should go check it out. Thanks, Lada. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Uh, wait, 
Do you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all, just the lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it. Second Lake Photo shows an empty lake taken automatically on 1224 at 11.50pm. Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something feels... Damn it, how do I do that? When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. All right, go to the boat rental shop. Hey, how's it? <laughs> hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. Oh, you go inside. I guess you can look at that. Oh. Meg, are you? Ah! Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick. You handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Y y guess? Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone! Pasta? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You'll make your old man proud. When the kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. Mm. Mm. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me. Oh, this is... I can't see this. Polly, the kids are home. What was that? A parrot. The one on that perch. Keith! E yes! I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny! Nick, what's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? No! Oh, oh, no! Ah! Hey, yep. He fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. <laughs> I don't know why I just hit so hard. Mm. Go in and talk to him. I'm gonna sing it. I'm feeling this music right now. Um, a pasta shop. Hey, yep. To think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know. So that makes you to the third generation, Meg. Y yes. Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of Don't tossing Don't tossing You to Keith Yes You'll be the best pasta Wrangler The West has ever seen P Pasta Wrangler The West Isn't Pasta 
from Italy? Meg! Y y y yes You know the best pass has always been made west of the Rockies, how huh, don't you? Right, of course. Everybody knows that. Dick! Huh? How long do we have to keep up all this family and fucking in the all in the family show, babe? This old man must know something about the murder. <laughs> We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's a palace of pasta, the wet noodle. Though, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, yo, dude. We want a ride and one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days. Don't if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, that isn't, this isn't going anywhere. This old man is the witness tomorrow, right? We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. You gotta examine something. Wow, there's a lot of various fish in Gord Lake, aren't there? Hmm? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish show salt water fish. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. It's definitely not a Kotatsu, a Japanese table. They changed it to an electrical blanket when they translated it to English. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. <laughs> ah, fuck. We should, we could sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot coca. <laughs> what about? Talk about murders. Ah, uh, you a party pooper, Nick? A bird. Wow, what an a amazing bird. parrot that is. A bird, a talking bird. Good morning. Bird. Hello. Ignored me. What? You forgot Meg. You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you've been? A bird, a bird, a talking bird. Hello! Hello! Ah! See? Neat, so the parrot's name is Polly! Parrot! The erstwhile companion of the boat shop caretaker answers to the name Polly. Too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words. Mm -mm -mm. You gotta go talk to him again. Talk to him about something. Uh, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? 
Hmm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number for to the safe? 1228! What? Hmm, all right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? Hehe, <laughs> see, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick, write that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little high schemes. Gotta show him something that presents something. Something that is pretty important to this case. I'm gonna show him the DL6 incident. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're running out of time. You show the photo, the, sh the crime photo, the okay. like photo. Okay. Now listen here, Keith. Remember that tricolored pasta we were talking about? Oh, Rainbow Lonely. I figured out the last color we should use. In the go blue. In the go blue. That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Go ahead and talk to him about stuff. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, it's, uh, do... Uh, how about the... Other thing. Uh, let's go with, um... We are waiting... For me. I'll present your tennis badge. <laughs> the one thing! Fuck! I forgot the badge! The attorney's badge. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this badge. <gasps> That's a lawyer's badge. Yes. Wait. It is. I don't believe it. The music in my head is gone. <gasps> I'm so, free! So guys, the first person <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> free at last! Finally! Free at last! Yeah! <laughs> so guys, the first person to recognize my badge! I get it. Huh? Yep. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith! Nick! Now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir. No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Beck either. We're here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please. Help. Us. Hmm. Oh, you, huh? Please, mister. All right, I'll help. But I'm one condition. What's that? When the case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. What the fuck is happening? Fuck yes. Run. I don't want to run. We're gonna have a spin-off game where we run the noodle! Alright. Alright, whatever. Okay, we promise. Dick! Are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved. Also, who would want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy! Good order for you, Keith! <laughs> Wait. Didn't I just say? You too, Meg. Y y yes. <laughs> you bring your old man, your tear to your old man. It's I, you know. Now, what was it you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello. Uh. Now he's talking to the bird 
again. How do we get him to talk to us? Now talk to him. Oh, yeah, got now you present the photo. Here, take. Uh, yep, that. I've seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith! Yes. It's okay. You can call me Dad. <laughs> Dad, you know something about this? Uh, yep, the other night out on the lake. Yes, yes. I know all about the, that. I seen it. What? <laughs> tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Since you're taking over the shop and all. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all going about something. I forget the time. But it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yep. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang. So I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then, a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Yep. What did he say? Uh, yep. I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time. Farmers. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Hey, little Terry was just here. Terry? Uh, yep, a kid next door. He used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat, got himself whiskers growing out of his face. You must be talking about Detective Gumshoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to court to borrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Oh, don't forget the old sex. Oh. Whoa, 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 what? Uh, huh? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget the old sex. Oh. What? The DL6 incident? Hey, mister, I, I mean, dad. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? How would that boat Polly know about uh, DL6? You have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe I should ask Detective Gumshoe. Go to Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> wow. That's a good bit. It's a good bit. Good bit. Hey, bad long time no see. You're looking rather musical right now. <laughs> How can you tell? <laughs> you don't look so happy. <laughs> What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah? You know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh, yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? 
Uh huh. How'd you? Uh, that was supposed to be top secret. You know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird, you know. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called him. That's why we called him this lot of hot yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Hmm. Detective Gumchu, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. Yeah. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that has something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about the DL6 either. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. What? However, you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case. Well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Alright, uh, go ahead and show him evidence. That it's connected? That it's connected. That DL6 is connected to this case. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the freaking parrot? The parrot did say DL6! What's that, a parrot? The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about the at incident. That incident? DL6. What? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Huh? Don't forget DL6. Huh? huh? I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if... What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think it might be? I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Who dares the station's records room? I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. All right! Way to go, Detective Gumshoe! Okay, Nick, to the records room! I guess it's time we face Edgeworth's past. Alright, we're gonna go to the records room. Wow! It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that DL6 stuff, quick! Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6. Nick, I found where the file is. Uh, oh, thanks. Just let me know what you need to, want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. I'll go to talk to Maya. Well, first I had to get a handle on the main facts. Like a summary. Right. Summary, summary, found it. Here you go. December 28, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So that's the that's the only time they mentioned the year that these games take place. So yeah, this game takes place in 2016. Oh, it does? Yeah, even though it was made in 2001. Really? Yeah. So it's supposed to be in the future? Yeah. Interesting. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Some earthquake. A 
the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. <laughs> it took five hours for them to be rescued. <clears throat> five hours! <clears throat> that would be scary like that. In the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator, and the survivors were unconscious. Survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgewood's father, <clears throat> wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. <clears throat> You have data on the victim, Edgeworth's father. Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Uh, here, found it. Gregory. You fool. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If you were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh? Sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? Got any data on the suspect in there? Hmm. That would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on. This is it. The man arrested as a suspect in the DL6 incident was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk at the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it! But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived so much, so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? It's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? DL6 case file. File on the DL6 incident. You know, in 2016, they could have taken a picture on their smartphone. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't know that. They didn't know that. <laughs> they didn't know fucking Steve Jobs was going to fucking brain themselves a phone. <laughs> right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how... Dad will do testifying in court. And that was like an hour long episode, yep. but we did it! Probably would have been shorter if we didn't fucking. <laughs> Musical interlude. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, smash that dislike button. <laughs> smash that dislike button and uh, leave a hate comment. Yep. Tell, well, Tell us how much you hated that bit. Yeah. You Please. either hated it or loved it. Alright. Well, next time, we're going to trial. There we go. Let's get it. Love you. Oh, fuck. We gotta do this. Bang, bang, bang. Oh! <laughs> you dickhead. Piece of shit. <laughs> I'm retiring right now. I'm retiring. I'm done.